Sonny Means from WVON Radio. How instrumental was it, your wife and your father and you coming to Chicago? Or did you have to uh, convince them that this was a good fit for you? No, my, my wife has is, is, is wanted me to coach for a while. She knows I have a passion for it. She knows it's the right thing. My family's always been supportive as well in terms of my playing career or whatever. So between my wife and my family, um, you know, it was easy for them. They knew it was the right decision. Obviously, when this opportunity presented itself, um, you know, I, I went after it. And, uh, you know, I just went and prepared and, and, and knew what the interview process was like um, because I did interview in Phoenix. So that did help me with the interview process. The more interviews you do, the more you're comfortable. There's no question about that. But, you know, knowing PAX, like I said before, and the comfort factor there was big. Um, and then get in front of Jerry and Mike and Dr. Julius and, and Gar and everything. It just, it just felt right. So my supportive, you know, my wife was very supportive. My family is very supportive. They know it's a, a tremendous, uh, tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous challenge. But, you know, we're all in this together, and, and, and we'll move forward from there. Vinny, Mark Harm with WGN Radio over here. If somebody told you two months ago when John started this process that you'd be the guy, what would you have said then? I mean, how surprised are you to be here? Well, of course I'm a little bit, uh, you know, you get a little bit taken back from it, but I'm not overwhelmed. You know, I feel like... When I played, uh, whether it was point guard or off guard, when I was playing, I felt like I was a coach. You know, that's just the way I always studied the game. Uh, you know, I was fortunate to play a long time. Um, obviously, I had some strengths, some weaknesses when I played. I thought I was a student of the game, you know, and, and I always felt like I was another coach on the floor. So this isn't something that just came into my mind like two or three days ago or two months ago or whatever. This has been like a 20-year process for me, and it just kind of happened quickly. So people are having a hard time to kind of grasp it a little bit. But like I said, once you sit down with me and we talk and you interview me and ask me intelligent basketball questions and things, obviously you're going to see that there's a different side of me that probably you don't know very well. So it's going to be a process. It's, there's no crystal ball here, but I'll be accessible and uh, my main thing is obviously, like I said before, have a little process involved in getting in front of the players and hiring the staff, and, 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 we'll, and we'll work from there. What happens if we have unintelligent <laughs> Then hopefully I'll, I'll reverse that and give you an intelligent answer. Hey, uh, Vinny, Brian Hanley from the Chicago Sun-Times. Uh, obviously being a scout and an assistant GM, you bring things to the table 90-plus percent of the coaches in the league don't have. Right. But when you go through that first losing streak or you're in that, crunch time and have to make a play out of, a, out of bounds, uh, what are you going to fall back on? Are you going to fall back on previous coaches or your, your guard player or being the, the you know, so-called coach on the court? Do you know what's going to be like when you're in that first situation where you know, all eyes are on you? Hey, you know, that's part of the job. You know, if, if you're not willing to have all eyes on you, then you're, you're, I'm in the wrong job. And uh, uh, do I feel totally prepared right now? No, that bothers me. But by the time those decisions need to be made, I will be. You know, you know, they interviewed me, like I said, it was a thorough process in terms of get up and getting up on the board and diagramming this or that or last second plays or whatever. But as I put my coaching staff together, all the concepts and philosophies and things that all the coaches bring to the table, that will be in a booklet that we'll have for all the players. Everybody will be on the same page. We'll have certain things. And as the season goes on, we'll continually add those. You know, if you break the season down in preseason, you have 31 days in October, you know, you have eight exhibition games, you have three days off probably for the players, so you only have about 20 practices to incorporate your whole system. So I want to be able to start the, the, the training came off with practice plans that can incorporate a lot of things that I want to do, and as the season goes on, those things will have practice time where we can evaluate those and make adjustments and things. So there's not a fine science to it. Every coach has, has different training camps that I've been in or whatever, but um, we'll have a philosophy. The, guy, the players will know it, and we'll move forward from there and add to it as we go.